Hey everyone, welcome back. We are going through another Automa so that you could play another multiplayer game solo, especially during these times. So today we're looking at Karuba. So what you're going to do to set up is you're going to set up like you would a multiplayer four player game. You're going to have four treasures of each type, um, either now or shortly uh, soon. On BGG, there will be a file section and uh, uh, under Karuba, and there's going to be a low ink and a deluxe graphics files that you can download. If you don't want to waste a bunch of ink, you can get the low ink. Um, I, I like the deluxe one just because it looks a little nicer and it matches the theme of the game. But in that file, you're going to find uh, 36 cards, three opponents, as well as six lost in the jungle cards. And we'll go over all of this here in a second. So go ahead and print that out. Um, just as a reference to make it real easy, I print on normal paper and I just leave a playing card and I just slide them in and it makes it really easy, it makes it cheap, doesn't take a lot of time and that's how I make my cards for my Automas as well as my custom content for Marvel Champions. Alright, uh, I digress. So getting back to Karuba, uh, to set up we need to seed the board just like we would in a multiplayer game. So to do that, we're going to start we're going to shuffle this deck and we're going to flip over cards. And in the bottom left, you're going to see a number. And that's going to reference numbers along this edge between 10 and 110. So the first one is 20. So I'm just going to put these in my hand, kind of do them randomly. So it's a temple, so I'll put it at the 20 spot. 80. And this is a Explorer, so I'll put them at 80. 40. And another Explorer. 30. Another Explorer. 60. Temple. 50. Temple. 70. Explorer. And 100. Temple. In the, in the event that you, if I were to be placing this guy, and let's say there was already a person at 100, and I needed to put place an explorer, and I drew 100, just draw again. It, it, you'll find another one pretty quickly. I don't remember where this was, but let's say it was right there. Okay. Um, you're going to line up the three AIs, because you're going to be playing against three opponents, to the side here, and you're going to get all both their explorers and their temples out here to the right. Next, you need to decide what difficulty do you want to play on. Easy, standard, or expert. If it's expert, just shuffle your 36 cards and place them above the AI and you're ready to go. You don't need to do anything else. If you want to play on easy or standard, you're going to have to do a little bit of setup. Um, not much. There are six lost in the jungle cards. and these, This is going to make it a little bit easier for you. So what you're going to do, if playing on standard, you're going to take three lost in the jungle cards you're going to shuffle them into this deck of 36 cards. Once shuffled, you're going to discard three cards at random, and then that's going to make your 36 card deck. Okay. If you want to play on easy, you're going to take all six cards, shuffle them into this deck, and then discard six cards at random, and then that is going to create your 36 card deck. Okay. Let's just say I'm playing an expert for right now. Additionally, you want to put all of your tiles either in a bag, in a cup, or just lay them out to the left or wherever you want to lay it um, face down because we're going to be drawing blindly. I have this handy Carcassonne bag and that I will be using. So get those ready to go. And that's the setup. Um, in this game, you're going to be taking explorers to the temples. And this game will be uh, played over a series of round rounds a round consists of you going and then the automa's going it is not simultaneous like the multiplayer game so to start and you're going to do this until either one player gets all four explorers to their temples or one player either being you or any of the automas or uh going through this whole 36 card deck because there's your 36 tiles at that point uh, the game will end, and you're going to count up just like you would in a multiplayer game all of your treasures that you've collected 
two points for gold nuggets, one point for any crystal, and the AIs are going to individually score for the same things. Um, in the event of the tie, in, of a tie, the AI wins. You are supposed to be better than the AI, not the same as. So uh, it's a little bit more challenging. Uh, you got to score more than they do. Um, so to start, let's say it's my turn. I draw one tile from the bag. Let's say I put this here. And placement and everything is just like it is in a multiplayer game. Once I've gone, I simply flip over a card from the Automa deck. So let's go over what, how a card looks like. An Automa card is made up of three sections. Each section references an Automa or an AI opponent. The top section represents whoever you have on the top slot. The middle section represents the middle and the bottom section represents the bottom AI. There are different, there's four types of actions it can take. Let me see if I can find them real quick. Come on, there it is. So when you flip this over, if this was the autumn turn, the first AI does nothing. The second AI takes the blue explorer and places it on their uh, player area. So boom, just like that. Okay. The third AI does nothing. Let's say this was the card. First two AIs do nothing. The third AI takes a gold nugget from the bank and puts it in their player area under the little treasure icon. If this is the card, does not, first AI does nothing, the second AI just takes us a crystal and puts it in their treasure area. And this one, first AI would do nothing, second AI would take a brown temple and would put it on their player area. And those are the only four types of actions the AI is going to take. So what this is going to do is that as the game progresses, you're going to see what has a greater chance, like what the AI is going for. Like, right off the bat, if that were to happen in the first four turns, we know that there's a greater chance that more aloft, who that's the name of this person, is going after blue and brown. So this is going to give you a way to say, okay, maybe I should go for uh, yellow and purple because uh, more aloft now has a greater chance of getting these these uh, treasures first um, but as soon as one of the AIs gets both the uh, explorer and matching temple on their player area they're going to take the topmost treasure from that uh, corresponding color so if this was the turn and I drew a ex blue explorer oh boom Morloff now has both ex blue explorer and temple She's going to get the five pointer since no one else has gone to a blue temple and is going to put it in her treasure area. As soon as she gets the brown one, same thing. Um, so you're going to continue to do this until either one person gets um, all four explorers to the temples. And it doesn't matter if they get the temple first and then the explorer. If they have both matching colors on their player area, then they will collect the treasure. That's that's it. That's the game. Um, it pretty much plays exactly like you would multiplayer. You are going up against three opponents, um, but with how smooth the cards are, um, it, it won't take much effort at all. Um, you're basically just looking at the card. Generally speaking, each card has one action each, um, and you can change up the difficulty based off these lost in the jungles. Uh, so the, the, by default, Whenever you're changing the difficulty, if you're going to standard or, or, or easy, you're going to shuffle these in and then discard three cards at random. I like that because um, pretty much when you shuffle these in, um, an explorer or a temple is going to be thrown out of the game. So someone's not going to get one of the treasures. Um, if you need it even easier, you can just straight up discard three cards and then add these cards in. Um, and then shuffle the deck. But I like not knowing, because there's a chance by shuffling these in and then discarding that you could discard these, these Lost in the Jungles and uh, and they might not lose uh, an Explorer to being lost or a Temple from being overgrown that they can't find it. So I like the unpredictability of it. Um, 
that's pretty much it. I'm about to do a, a full playthrough, and so you can see it being played there. Any questions? I will say the rules. I haven't, I'm going on vacation tomorrow, August 27th, so um, I haven't haven't gotten a chance to write down the rules. That's the last part. That's the last step in, in all my automas. It's just not very fun. Uh, so that's why I'm posting this videos uh, now so that I can just attach it to the files. And if it's not, if the rules aren't out there, you can just watch this quick video and then you should be able to play. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, check out my other automas on uh, Board Game Geek. I have Splendor, Sagrada, Century Spice Road, Century Spice Golem, um, Dice Hospital, and um, Parks, among others. Um, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And have fun.